A very warm welcome to Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one. Excellent stuff. Good evening. If you've just joined us, welcome on YouTube. Welcome on LinkedIn. Welcome on Twitch. And, of course, welcome on Facebook. So lovely to have you with us. And a big warm welcome to our beautiful TikTokers who we've actually seen quite recently. And now you're back with us as well. So it's win-win. It's joy all round. Scotty McClure with a nine o'clock pop-up phone in just for you across the internet. Now you decide how much you want to talk. You decide how much you want to join us. Always lovely to have you with us. And we'll just make sure that everything is set up properly for you. Fantastic stuff. And there's our first caller of the night. How amazing is that? Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. Oops, don't know what's going on here. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in, Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, Scott, sir. Scar Glenn, how clever are That's you? Time. You're spot That's on it. tonight. Glenn, first one. you're first on tonight, la. And uh, I've just done a TikTok live. I've done a live Twitch to tell everybody to come and join us and follow us on Twitch, That's Scotty cool. underscore McClue. And uh, here you are, first on the phone in. Nice one. Hey. Um, I was doing the research on Malcolm Edmonds, that is from Cheshire. Yes. It's um, Manchester End, isn't it? Manchester End, absolutely. Yes, Cheshire, indeed. Yeah. Like you said, he did some theatre in uh, Scarborough. Yes, absolutely. It was uh, it was a director, so so he's originally yeah. a Hebden man. Is that right? No, sorry, he's yeah. originally a Manchester yeah. man. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, and then uh, over to uh, to do some work at the theatre at Scarborough. Yeah, definitely. He's, um, I'm a big fan of his anyway. Fantastic, absolutely, Glenn. All these wonderful people. We've had so many great actors over the piece, you know. I mean, look at Bill Owen. Oh, oh, Bill Owen. I mean, do you know? I remember a lovely story, and it was Bill Owen's family that told it. I think. They were oh, sitting yeah. with them one night watching a movie. And they said, this oh, is a great movie, this, you know. And then suddenly Bill goes, hang on a minute, I think I'm in this. A lot of those, a lot of these actors obviously started off as childhood actors, didn't they? Started off as? As child actors. Yes, yes, a lot of them were child actors. And I'll tell you, another one I saw recently on social media was Sam Kidd. Do you remember Sam? Oh, yeah. Tremendous. Yeah. Yep, and his son's on social media putting stuff about his dad. And his dad was a great actor. And there was a, a picture of him and William Hartnell. And they oh, yeah, were yeah, in yeah. Uh, William Hartnell. And they were in um, the story, the Yangtze incident, the story about the HMS Amethyst stuck up oh, the yeah. Yangtze River. And um, Peter Salas. Yeah, Peter Salas, another great guy. Yes, and also Frank Thornton that played Captain Peacock in Are You Being oh, Served? Yeah. And he was in uh, Last at Summer Wine. The one who always chasing after uh, his son, the debt collector, the Christopher Benner. Christopher Benny, I think they called him. All right, I can't, I can't remember all the details, but it was just great stuff. Yeah. And, uh, and I had a chat to the one that played... Uh, the lady that uh, that Howard was always chasing. Oh, well, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. she's fantastic. And uh, also Barry, the son-in-law. Yeah. And they were at the chuck wagon. They were filming, and I said, can I just say thanks for all the pleasure you've brought us, you know? Yeah, like I said, there's, there's a lot that have crossed the border in the until where... Uh, until last it's a massive cast. Oh, a huge cast. Massive. And of course, I think also typical uh, South Yorkshire, people just adored the scenery, you know, around Home Firth and all that. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it is absolutely stunning. I used to drive it morning, noon, and night, you know. I mean, very often I'd finish in Sheffield on a Thursday night and drive to Scotland. Yeah. You know, yeah, and I would be well, passing. Well. And I passed, what I can tell you, Glenn, I passed all the ITV transmitters. So I would, yeah. uh, you know, Ilkley Moor. Oh, yep. And then God, over God, to God, Winter God. Hill, Granada. Yeah. And then up yeah. to Colbeck, Border Television. Then I'd see Black Hill from Scottish Television. 
Nice well. Beautiful. And I don't know, see it, see at night, Glenn, there's something that beckons me about transmitters. And I think maybe yeah. this is one of the reasons I work in the media, because I just oh, yeah. love the concept of getting out there, you know? Uh, you see, you're seeing the, the sights, are you? Well, you're seeing the sights. And I mean, I was part of the early crowd that wished the nation good night and God bless, you know? Yeah, definitely. I mean, with the national anthem and all that. We used to put on national anthem. Do you think we should still do that? I think, I think that would be a good tone, that actually, yeah, definitely. I'm going to put that out as a subject. Should we okay, have right. the national anthem? Well, the television stations don't close down the same, you see. Remember test card? But should test card, yeah. Do you remember um, interlude? Yeah. Do you remember Potter's Wheel? I do, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever yeah, see, as a kiddie, did you ever see Watch With Mother? I, I caught up with him in the 90s, you know, on VHS. Yeah. Andy Pandy and all that. And, Andy uh, Pandy. Well, I'll tell you stops. I'll tell you how it went. It was all called Watch With Mother. The television, yeah. there was only BBC television. That was it. There was none of your BBC Two around. So it would start off. BBC television would open up at lunchtime. And I think yeah. you got a lunchtime news, and then it was right. Watch With Mother. Yeah. And uh, Watch With Mother, you, on a Monday, you had picture book, because it was yeah. very basic television. Then on a Definitely. Tuesday, you had Andy Pandy and Libby Lou and Teddy. Yeah. Then on a Wednesday, it was Bill and Ben, Flower Pop Men, Wopty yeah. Pop, Schlub Dub Dub. And then... That's it. And then, uh, no, Thursday were Ragtag and Bobtail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, three little animals. I think one was, a, was there a rabbit and... Uh, like a mule kind of thing. No, no, that was Muffin the Mule. Oh, Muffin the Mule. Yeah, yeah, that was... Now, see the lady that did Muffin, Muffin the Mule? That was yeah. Annette um, Mills. Oh, yeah. And she was the sister of Sir John Mills, you know, the great actor. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So she was. So that was Annette Mills with Muffin the Mule, and then. Uh, but you didn't. Have, that wasn't part of Watch with Mother. That was earlier. That was in, uh, I think, nineteen fifties, fifty five. Was that before Watch with Mother? Then? Yeah, and Watch with Mother Thursday ragtag and bobtail. Friday, your old friends, the wooden tops. Yeah, brilliant. With Babby and that. Yeah, there was Babby and uh, and Sam the gardener, and and um, and. Um, Sister. Yeah, the older brother and sister and Spotty Dog. Yeah. Was there a sister and two twins? Yeah, there were, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, and then and then Spotty Dog and Sam that helped Daddy in the garden. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's just archives. I mean, you, you, even if you weren't born in them days, you, you can just admire it for what it were, can't you? Yeah, you can still see it on YouTube and stuff like that. You know, it's fantastic. I was watching some of your. I was listening to you some of your calls earlier. You now from I was in from past uh, callings, phone ins from. All oh, right. You had some right screams with some of these guys. YouTube. Of, oh, absolutely brilliant, Mr. Martin. The other one, this uh, the man who couldn't stop laughing all the time. We and oh, what was, was he like? Uh, Rob from Southport. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and you were in stitches. Have you have you come to play here? Yeah, and all these like. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh my God. You, Glenn, you, I, you, uh, didn't, guy, you didn't hear this and I don't think at Hallam, but I've got to tell you a beauty. And it just yeah. was by accident. This old lad rings one night, right? X minor. So I'm like giving him a bit of the wind up, you know, I said, oh, you'll be raking it in these days with white knuckle finger and all that. You see? Yeah. And he goes, no, no, I don't get out, Scotty. I don't get out. I said, hang on, are you serious? I said, you don't get a pension. You should have a pension. No, I don't get out. I don't get out, lad. I said, well, wait a minute. Hang on. I says, I'll give you a number to ring. Tell them you've been talking to Scotty McClure. Just a bit of chat, you know. Yeah. I says, tell them you've been talking to Scotty McClure off Century Radio. I said, and that, you, you you know, you'd like to discuss your pension. Oh, no, they won't. No, just do what I'm telling them. So anyway, it comes on next day, Glenn. It yeah. goes, hey, I don't know where to start. I says, what, what, what do you want, Tom, or whatever it was, you see? He goes, um, yeah. no, you, 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 I, can't, I can't thank you. I said, thank me for what? I said, you don't have to thank me. He'd gone on to pension line, the old miners' helpline at the time. Yeah. 
They'd given them £140 a week backdated for three months. So he were right over at Moon, you know, and but I couldn't get him off phone. He would phone every night. He, I don't know how to thank them. I mean, I, I remember that one though, when uh, that woman was going on about something, and you were saying you, you kept on going like this. I, I just fell asleep on him. This woman, she was just going like this. She was just whispering on about all sorts of nonsense, and he oh, was like, just I, fell asleep. I, 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 I just fell asleep for a few, a few hours, a couple of hours. How long have I been out, everybody? <laughs> there's loads of, oh, there's a lot on YouTube, though, Scotty, you've got... Listen, there's an absolute treasury on there, Glenn, do you know what I mean? It probably yeah, won't yeah. be fully appreciated till I'm no longer here, you know? The, the Mr. Martin one. Mr. Martin's a beauty. And Susie? Yeah, Susie Pussy, yeah. Susie Pussy, very who's it? The, the second one was the best one, I think. You cut off, you cut off, and you've had it. Oh, well, I've had it, love. <laughs> um, can I speak to your superior? You put me oh, through okay. to your superior. There's, there's no superior, love. Canteen shots at 10. I'm, I'm not got, talking I'm about got, a got, canteen. I've got duty officer Ed, and all that. You're going to be all over the calls. Officer and stripes. Officer with stripes. Yeah, stars and stripes. Oh, totally and stuff. I just, like I said, I, I can't reiterate enough. I'd love some of them old callers to come back on. Well, they might well do, you see, once they get a hang of this, actually. People are a little bit shy at first, and then once yeah. they realise they can come on, they'll come on. Yeah, definitely. And, yeah. Glenn, we've also got to get it out there. I mean, you've got to remember we're, we're a couple of weeks old at most. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yet, You know, everybody's not going to find it. Rome wasn't built in a day. You see, the problem you've got exactly. with a phone-in like this, phone-in's cracking, but there's so much media out there. They're watching the tellies, they're listening to radios, the kids have got their own music, they're getting all that, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, and, yeah. and then they don't even know this exists. Or they go, oh, if I'd known about that, I'd have loved that. Whereas yeah. in those days, radio, everybody were listening to radio one. anyway. That went number one. Where, where there went as many channels as they are Well, you look, when you were brought up, Hallam FM, Radio Hallam. Magic. Massive. Magic radio. Massive. Red, Red Rose. Red Rose Radio. Lancashire. Yeah, Nation, Red, Nation in Scotland. Nation, Nation in Scotland. Scotland. Huge, huge radio stations. Do you see what I mean? So people know yeah. they're out there. You can get them in the car. Everything, everything's linked to you, Scotty, isn't it? You know, well, it comes back, you know, I've always said whoever's got my clues got market. Exactly. <laughs> you're, you're a good, Scotty, you're a good entertainer, to be honest. Well, I don't know about that, but people seem to like what no. we do. Don't you, think, don't you think so? Well, people like what we do. The, contra the controversial stuff back in there. Oh. You were, you were... Well, we're going to do a bit more of it, I'll tell you that, Glenn. Che cheeky chappy back in there. With, Very cheeky with chappy. With gloves and glasses on. Somebody and said to me one day, I remember in Yorkshire, they said, is that controversial, lad, off radio? He says, "I." He says, "Very, very controversial." I think you've mellowed. Uh, well, of course you have to. Yeah, I think you've mellowed since back in nineties. Anyway, definitely. Well, you've got to remember. I mean, I've been doing this for thirty years. Yeah. Do you know? Anyway, a better dash light, or they'll all be no, doing the they'll, knot. They'll, they'll be windy and wet, uh, we'll only get four calls on in the night. <laughs> I'll see the love. Thank you, thank you, Dinky do, love you. There we are. That's it. That's our Glenn from South Yorkshire. On for a bit of chit chat. Now, what have we got here on the TikTok? I liked Bill, one of the three who liked the other lady. Can't remember her name. Little Weed Stuart. Yes. Uh, so, what happened? Hamza, we had to go to another place. Uh, Rainbow and Pipkins, you're taking me back to your childhood. You cut me off on last convo, Scott FM. I was going to say, you're getting a slap, you're upstart. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? It's unknown. Unknown, how are you? I'm good, thank you. It's just been a while, so I thought I'd phone in, see how the phone in's been going on. It's been too long. The phone in is outstanding. I am so chuffed. We've been going a fortnight. Huge radio stations can't get anybody to call them. And everybody's calling ah. Scotty McClue on the internet. Well, whoever has McClue has the market. Whoever has McClue has the market. Yeah, and everyone on TikTok and Twitch, 
and all the platforms have you, so the radio just can't get hold of you. You're the, that good over on here. The radio so can't get hold of Can I let you into a little day. secret? Can I let you into a secret? Because I know what you journalists are like. I know I can trust you. Okay, go on. Two offers to go back on the radio since we started doing this. Oh. What about that then? That's good. It's very, very good news. But I'm in two minds because I think a little bit like when they were working out how to go through the sound barrier. I remember they were losing pilots and aircraft in crashes. Uh -huh. And then the guy suddenly put the controls the opposite way to what you'd think and he pulled out of the dive. <laughs> oh, Scotty, well, I'm very glad that the phoning's going well and I'm have you, you any see? justice. And the reason I'm telling you that story is I sometimes think, are we better just now we've started just building this and building? Yes, the sooner you build, the sooner you can get merch out and you can have TikTok famous. You see? But you see, your uh, problem yeah. with communications people, they're thinking he's not having that to himself. That's got him a clue for in. We want that. From the very start, from the rehearsals to now. From the very like first now. night we went on, good people like yourself coming and joining us. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's these like minded, intelligent people. All intelligent. And don't and don't go down the swanee because we send everyone else who are trolls down the swanee because it's what they deserve. If you don't have any intelligence, if you are there to troll, no one trolls Scotty and gets away with it. You can try, but it won't happen. It won't happen. Can I just interrupt you a second there, unknown? We've got last of the summer wine news to be on here in New Zealand back in the day. So I've got Stuart on TikTok from New Zealand. Love your hat, says Gary. Cheesecake or carrot cake, both. Rainbow and Pipkins, you're taking me back to my childhood. I liked um, all that. Yes, Parsley the Lion. You cut me off, so you're getting a slap, McClue. Scotty boy, Celtic Rangers, go and see them both play, Sean. This man loves himself. Look at the portraits behind him. You want to give yourself Chappie. Shall we send Chappie down the Swanee? No, we leave down him. The Chappie, these portraits were presents, so don't start chicking up. Chappie's judging people like himself. He knows he's only interested oh. in himself. There you go, Chappie, one, two, three. There we are. Yellow, black, we'll send you down the swanee. I'm just going to send them down the swanee. Bear with me. Just going to send these guys down the swanee. Lovely. Oh down the swanee. There it goes. One away. And we'll send the other away in a minute. There we are. Keep being your own boss, Scotty. few people needing put down the swanee, Scotty boy, says Ryan. Uh, you can control your content. Stuart, you're quite right. So there we are. We can control our content. Now then, unknown. Sorry to interrupt you there. I just had to do a bit of housekeeping. No, I understand that. What are you thinking of the phone in yourself? How is it looking from your point of view? I think it's very interactive, very good, multi-platform, so everyone can join in. There's not an excuse not to be on there. No, no. And I mean, I've got 10,000 people at LinkedIn. We went live on LinkedIn last night. You'll probably only get it if you're actually, uh, you know, on at the time. But yeah. it will eventually, once people know it's there, I'm happy. Whether they choose to come and join us for a few minutes for the whole program, it doesn't actually matter as long as they enjoy it. But this is something big, and the sooner people realize and join, the sooner it will blow up and they will be there before everyone else. Yes, yes, they'll have been there. I remember being from the start. And, and what I love about it, Joe says, New Zealand, you're a long way from home. He's live on TikTok from New Zealand right now. Wow. I love it. They're all saying, Ryan shouting, doing the Swanee with them. Good evening, young man. Where are you from, big man? Where is the Swanee, Scotty? What's it like in there? The sway down I upon the Swanee River. I thought Dingley Dell. Dingley Dell, absolutely. Yes, indeed. Absolute Unknown. Towers. I'm going to dash on, but hopefully we will have many more chats. Of course. I'm just checking in, see how you were today, and I'll be back later. Yes, and tell Wonky I'm asking for him. I will do. Absolutely, and dinky do. Take care, dinky do. See you, Lala. Thank you. There we are. That's it. Our wonderful guys there. Tremendous stuff. Now, 
What have we got here? Um, good evening, Scotty, says Andy McCrory. Dinky Doo, says Professor Lumpty. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Scotty, says Nino. Hello, Nino. Lovely to have you with us. Back by popular demand, says Scott. Scotty, what do you make of Boris? My father loves the last of the summer wine, Dad's Army, all the great British comedy. Here we go. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Ian Gooding Gospel. Just want to say to Scotty, the radio program is brilliant. I think you do is Scotty. Ian, how lovely to hear from you. See when we had yourself and your missus on that Saturday. That was a huge highlight. It certainly was, Scotty, because you are the Lord and the King of the Internet now. Top man, you are a top man, Ian, I thank you. You are a top man yourself, Scotty. The topics tonight, I don't know what the viewers are going to phone in for. Well, Have you any idea of yourself, Scotty? Well, we never do. Somebody once said to me, Ian, uh, I love your show. You must do a tremendous amount of preparation. I said, I don't do a single thing. And they said, how not? I said, because you can't, because you don't know what's coming next. That is correct, Scotty. <laughs> it's the listeners that make your show, but also you control your show, Scotty, because you, and only you only, there is only one Scotty McClue and Dinky Do. Dinky Do. And Ian, what I'm thinking and doing now, because this has been such a success from the off, I think what we might do is not go back on the radio, just do it on here. Oh, it's a brilliant idea, Scotty. You know? It travels all over the world, not just yes. European, Scotty. You are internationally known now. We're in Australia, so New Zealand, America, huge in America. Yes, and you should be, Scotty, and you should be. You should be, you are lord of the airwaves, lord of the internet, there is no holding you back. Top and man. sooner or later, Scotty, we will be in outer space. We'll we be in outer everywhere. space. We'll be in the stratosphere and we'll have the Martians on for a chat. Oh, that would be a laugh, Scotty. Eh? We Martian people, eh? That would be a food. Can you imagine coming off that saying, did anybody understand or what of that? Scotty. And somebody phoning up and going, I, I speak Martian, Scotty. Ah, they've not got a clue. They've got up the swanny. Sorry. Up the swanny with the bicep. Listen, are we back to enjoy your show? Have a good evening. Nay, bother. Scotty. Thanks for joining us. He loved to go sport. I will do, pal. Thank you, do. Thank you, do, la. How fantastic. That's Ian. Ian is in Gosport down at Portsmouth. And his good lady and him came on one night, they love the YouTube stuff. It's all about the Scottish banter. I've got to go and make breakfast. Have to love you and leave you, Scotty. Dinky do from your fans, Stu. Stuart, thank you for joining us and for all your quality chat tonight. We all love an unknown color. Lol, I speak Glaswegian. Follow us. As soon as you come on in TikTok, please follow. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. Very, very important. So TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, get following. And join us on Facebook Live as well and LinkedIn. There we are. Dinky do, Scotty. Hope you're well, says Kevin. Hi, Scotty. This is the wonderful Susan Shaw. My father loves the last of the summer wine, Dad's Army, and all the great British comedy. A TV stroke FM transmitter on North Yorkshire caught far last month. Took them weeks to get it up and running again. Professor Numpteed, I didn't hear that. Susan, are you all good, Sister Sam? Yes, great chat, guys. Andy Pandy comes to say, Scotty McClure is here to stay. Listen to me from 9 to 10. Let's all listen and have a gay day, says Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Now stay here, be your own boss, Sister Sam. I think, Sister Sam, there's nothing on TV these days. I don't ever watch it. Total rubbish. I have got several TV channels, and for a pastime, I don't end up watching them. I end up scrolling through them, and there's usually nothing I end up watching. Need to get you back on the radio, says Mark, hashtag full time. Well, Mark, if you have the chat tonight, do we just do it on the internet and let the radio go its own way? I don't know what you think. Dinky do, Scotty, we have to pay the BBC a license fee. Watch that rubbish on TV. 
Scotty, glad to see you again. Love the Scott FM shows. Do you know what happened to Fat Pup? I don't, Graham. I never heard any more. You live at Scotty's phone in, who's that? There we go. We don't know who that is. Somebody very drunken. Peter Woods joined us. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Peter. I take it that's the Peter Wood. Yes, top, top, top Scottish accordionist. Top accordionist. Susan, we pay the license to pay for the people who have been sued by the BBC. So sued the BBC recently. There we are, says Jerry. I know what you mean, Jerry. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty's my second call. Oh, uh, Glenn. Scotty, yes, love. Alien life forms again, in there. It's what, love? I think we're getting aliens on now, aren't we, this stupid idiot? We had a half-witted alien on there, but he was obviously very drunk. Definitely. Very I drunk. So he's away I doing the like, swanny. I take it I you didn't hear just, too much? Yeah. Glenn. I'd just like to wish Boris all the my condolences anyway. Yes, condolences to Boris. Absolutely. He's just lost his mother. And that's yeah. a tough one for anyone. 21 years since I lost mine yesterday. Yeah. Oh, it's always a tough one. Did we've only got one mother. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, bless him. So there we go. But that's good of you, Glenn. Regardless of what people think of what's going on and all that. He's a human being just like everybody else. Of course he is. Of course he is. And he's actually, he's a remarkably successful guy. Uh, I mean, you think he's been the mayor of London, he's been uh, um, foreign secretary, and he's had another two or three top jobs in the government. I can't even remember them all. They were just for a few, just for a while. And then uh, he's been uh, a writer, a journalist for all the top papers. And then he's, uh, he's now Prime Minister. So you can't fault the lad from that point of view. Definitely not. Everybody's got the opportunity, and they? just taking yep. it. Yeah, you've just got to take it. You've got to take it when your moment arrives. He's American, apparently, Scotty, isn't he? Uh, he yes, he is. Absolutely. Yeah. And he's also got Turkish bloodlines in him. But nobody's pure English or Scottish. Or no, that's never. That's there was a guy that's telling that's me he was pure English. Apparently, when he did a spit into a cup and had it examined in the lab, he was 65% Argentinian. There you go. You, you these people are just narrow-minded, Scotty, aren't they? You see, I think what worries people about being pure English is because the English are actually a mongrel race because yeah. they've got the Normans, a lot of French, the Romans, a lot of Italian. The Vikings, so a lot of Norwegian, you see, yeah, we, we, and that panics just... them. But you see, I don't understand, and it makes me well, it doesn't make me laugh because it's so sad now. But when we've got immigrants coming in, and these people are going, Why are they allowed in when they're not? We're pure English. Yeah. I think, No, you're well, not. Look at yourself and her personally. The only thing you I think I mean? that's really, really sought after is either being a Scot or a Yorkshireman. Oh, I, oh, I ever yeah. did love to be a Yorkshireman. I, I'm the only honorary Yorkshireman in the world. You, you definitely are. Honorary. That's a big compliment that was brought to you and to us. You know, I used to tell my Yorkshire friends, I would say, you're great quality, you're quality, you guys, you know. And then one night, one of them, he had a few beers. He gives us a big hug. He says, that's quality, Scotty. I loved it when they used to say, is that McGlue? McGlue. Yeah. That McGlue, they want to get him off that, you know. Shocking. He's only got one opinion, that's his own. That's his own. <laughs> Brilliant. They were, they were, like I said, they were best, best days, weren't they? Fantastic. They'll, they'll, they'll still come back anyway. They'll, they'll come, come back. back. I'll tell the Glenn, they'll, they'll come back. Scotty, what's this week? Radio of where? Uh, offer then? Well, no, two offers since we started oh, this yeah. two weeks. Are you more comfortable on. YouTube and uh, all formats. That I, th I think we're better. I think we're better on here. TikTok, YouTube, um, LinkedIn has just joined us last night. Yeah, we've got about ten thousand on that. Why is it if it's not broke, don't fix it? If it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. As one of the bosses said, and they didn't yeah, listen to him. Some idiot got rid of it. It was interesting. The partly they were all in a program meeting. And they discussed yeah. all the programs and said, well, if you like to change this and you like to change that, 
And then the chairman was sitting there and they got to Scotty McClue. What do we do with Scotty at night? He said, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, if you could bottle you up, though. Ugh. Put you all over the world, which you are now, anyway. Well, we're all over the world right now, Glenn. We are exactly. international. I'm, I'm just, like I said, it was brilliant to have you back when I first found you on Nations Radio and through internet. You're amazing. I don't know how you did that. You're a very clever man. Thanks, I've got to find you. We've got to find, us fans have got to find you, haven't we? You've got to stick with what you like, I always say. Exactly. It's not the end of the world. Would you come back on TV then? Yeah, we'll do a bit more television once we get going. Let's get this uh, built up first. An audience with Scotty. Yeah, audience with Scotty McClue. Yeah. Yes, get absolutely. Get Nicky Campbell back. Yeah, fantastic. Have you have you had any reunions with? Uh, no, you? not for a while, actually, to be honest with you. We used to have these wonderful nights at Century when we invited the audience. Yeah. And they were massive. Massive, do you know what I mean? You couldn't get round everybody, that's the problem. You could still London to Lady Reeswear. We'll fill the, hey, we might do a bit of that yet, you know. You'd fill Rome, definitely. <laughs> we might do a bit of that. La, I'm going to have to go and we'll get right. shot down, you and I. Yeah, we'll say, oh, it's all that, it's all him and that, that Yorkshireman and that Scotty McGlue, that's oh, it, really. Okay. That's okay. whole phone in. Anyway. It's always a privilege to talk to thee, la. And to you, Scott. And dig you do. Dig you do. Take it easy, big man. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love the la. There we are. That's our Glenn. What a top man. You're allowed two calls a night. Uh, so there we go. Was he not the mayor of London? Yeah, that's what I seen, Suzanne. Yes. Good morning, Scotty. From Australia, dinky do, says Frank. There we are. How fantastic is this? Our TikTokers, Yorkshire, should become independent like Scotland. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello, Dom. Who's that? It's Jerry. Jerry. Lovely. Yeah, I just need a right. first name, Jerry. I don't need to know any detail. I just need a oh. handle for you. That's the handle for tonight. The handle for tonight. So what we need when callers come on, they just need to say, Scotty, it's Jimmy, it's Jerry, it's Mary, it's Anne. You know, and that, that'll do me. Lovely that, so, isn't it? The question is tonight. The question is, well, so many questions tonight. Jerry, I've got something for you. Oh, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. old firm games usually end up with a bit of trouble somewhere, don't they? Yeah. There's always a bit of trouble. And they say, well, you see, it goes back, it's religious. Now, two things, as we said before, for starters... Celtic and Rangers both are born out of exactly the same religion, right? Mm. Christian. So I think just to prove how religious it is, what we should do at an old firm derby is it starts with both a divine Presbyterian service and a mass, right? Now you can't go into the ground after the service has started. So you would need to attend either one or both. Right. right? So it starts off, so somebody says, yeah, kickoff's two o'clock, one o'clock for the mass. And you can't get into the ground after the service has started, okay? Mm -hmm. So then they have to go through, and then we'll see just how religious it is. And I think that would be a very good test. And you could have an ecumenical part of the service. Sounds good, yeah. You know, yeah. when when the Archbishop says, we're joined by all our lovely brethren, the breakaways, you know, and then, and then we all sing a, you know, an old Scottish hymn, you know, faith of our fathers, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Um, the Lord's my shepherd, something like that, and then football starts. And then you think the fight after that? Well, after it, they think, hang on a minute, why would we want to? We've just had all that lovely service. Then we'd see how devout their Catholicism and their Presbyterianism is. Uh, it's that religious. 
Yes. Here's a lovely one here. What about this? On TikTok, they need to bring back the mighty third Lanark. Glasgow needs a third force again. I love it. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy one well, there. It's ri live right on TikTok from Andrew. And there's Joe right now goes, what a terrible idea. I presume he's talking about what I've just said. Well, hello again. Greetings from Holland. Holland, yeah. So I'm going to say to my Dutch friends, come into whose village and go to heaven. I'm wearing mine clumping. Oh, well, you better watch it the same. I've just spoken a bit of Dutch there, too. Schwer. Well, the question for me tonight. Yes. What's the preference? What's the preference on the new news stations, which has come up recently in television? And also radio. What, what do you prefer? Or what do you listen to most? Uh, what do I listen to? Well, you see, radio is my thing, actually. But I started and trained and succeeded in television. Mm -hmm. But the job came up in the radio, so I just took it because I didn't need to put my suit on every night. But what's the station you put on first thing in the morning for a news in the morning, if I'm absolutely honest with you, I have BBC Radio Force today on in the morning. No, it's not Radio Scotland. Uh, no, no, I have I have, I have Radio Four today because I need to know what's going on generally across the country. But to be honest with you, uh, so much of official news, so called, has been um, has 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 been pandemic stuff. For the last sure. two years. So everybody's actually getting a bit pandemic weary. That's why I don't discuss it on any of my shows. Yeah. Now, have you been listening to um, the news station on GB News? GB News, yes, I have. And uh, yeah. I sent Andrew Neil many congratulations when it opened. You can see it live on TikTok and YouTube in the videos. And you'll see my good wishes going out to Andrew and the team. But I think Andrew's now resigned as the chairman. And uh, then they had Nigel Farage. Now, whatever you think of Nigel Farage's politics, the man's an exceptionally good broadcaster, I think. You see? Yes, I am. I, I do enjoy his program. And I like the way that he has people on who don't necessarily agree with him. Over the weekend, a guy by the name of Mark Doan, a good broadcaster, but uh, he had a really good program on 9/11. Yeah. Uh, right into depth. It must have been repeated late Saturday and Sunday, but really, really good. And then I caught a couple of glimpses of him. But that's the guy you look out for, Mark Doan. Mark Doan. Comes over. Mark comes over well. Yep, I'll have I'll have a look at that because I'm always on the lookout for good broadcasters. And as we develop the phone in here, what we might do, Jerry, is just get one or two well-known characters who we all like to ring us in. You know, if you go on YouTube, you'll hear Scotty McClure talks to David Heyman. And I was watching David tonight in Harris and Lewis. You know, you've heard that one. And he's an exceptional actor and a very nice man and a very interesting well, man. Last week you mentioned uh, Emma Tom Thompson. Emma Thompson, yes, wonderful. I've met her uh, doing a film over here on the north side of the city a number of years ago with Robert Carlyle. Yes, Bobby Carlyle, yep. Brilliant. She is just absolutely... Well, you see, Emma was brought up, uh, you know, in a showbiz family. Emma's mother is Philida Law. And Philida Law, you'll see, did you ever see Beatrix Potter's Miss Potter? Yeah. Yeah, where well, she played uh, the mother of Mr. Warren. Oh, right. And Mr. Warren's sister. So Beatrix and Mr. Warren's sister got on very well. And Mr. Warren's mother was Phila de Law, and that's Emma Thompson's mother, as far as I remember. Well, the story went that uh, when they were filming across the road at uh, the, the place of 
my daughter and their friends were shouting while they were filming. Um, what's the, what was the movie she was in? Uh, she grew the, new, the, the nose. Yeah. Oh, yes. Was that Nanny McPhee? Nanny McPhee, that's it. And they were shouting this while they were filming. So she sent her car over and the guy spoke to me and he says, listen, is that your kids? I says, no, no. I says, one. He says, no, Emma has invited them over to the set because we can't film because they're shouting in the background. So we went over and met them. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely brilliant. And then that was at 10 o'clock in the morning. Do you know what? At 9 o'clock at night, she was still there signing autographs. Yeah. Lovely, lovely people. They're the genuine article, and that's why they're so successful. Do you remember uh, Tutti Frutti? Brilliant. Tutti Frutti. Now, Brilliant. do you remember on Nation Radio, we used to have the lovely accordionist, Linda. Right. Linda yep. was from Tutti Frutti. Was she? Yeah, she was the accordionist right. on Tutti Frutti. I, was Eddie Reader on that? No, no, that was another one. No, that was another one. I, no, no, it was one. Emma Thompson, Robbie Coltrane, Richard Wilson right. played the agent, uh, Eddie Clockerty. Mr. Hello, is Eddie? Eddie here. Eddie Clockerty. <laughs> Janice, she would shout, Mr. Clockerty, I'm going to get lost. I love these characters. <laughs> I've got a DVD. Jerry, I'm going to have to dash, but a joy to hear from you. And Brilliant. Dinky Do, sir. Dinky Do. Dinky Do, our Jerry. There's our Jerry on for the chat. How amazing is that? Fantastic. Uh, hello, everybody, says Kareem. Should single mothers pay a double bed tax? Oh, Professor Numpteed. Kareem Glenn was the first on the phones tonight. I'm sure Emma Thompson has a holiday home. So there we are. Uh, in Argyle, spent the lockdown over here. Well, who knows? Everybody's got their life. Holy moly, dinky do it, Scotty McClue. Dinky do, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for joining us on the TikTok. Absolutely incredible tonight. Guys, we've got about uh, another 18 minutes of the phone in. Feel free to get to the telephones. I'll give you some more chat. There we are. What have we got here? Look at all that stuff for you. Oh, what about this? There we are. Something coming up here. Live phone in, guys. You get it there with YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. How are you? Ah, Kareem. What a joy. Hello. Now, you got beaten to the post tonight. I deliberately didn't phone first. Uh-huh. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, my combi boiler started to leak. Oh, no. There was a wee accident in the house, my new house. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I've had not a very good day. Just one not a good day. Last. Will you be able to get some insurance on it? Or? Well, my neighbour's a gas engineer, and he came in, and he had a look at it. So it stopped leaking for now. There is a damp patch on my ceiling. Right. Uh, but I, I'll paint over that in the coming weeks. Let it dry uh, up. I'm going to get the part and fit it. Good, good. So, I'm sorry oh, to hear that, sorry. Kareem. <laughs> no, no, when these things go wrong, it's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad it's happened now and not in the midst of the winter because I, I, I don't have any hot water or heating on at the moment, so it's not too bad. Uh, so it's okay. Kareem, <laughs> give me a little bit of advice here. Uh, yes. You know the big phone-ins are to be Friday, Saturday? Yes. Well, I'm just wondering, should we keep the pop-ups going during the week, do you think? I think the pop-ups are good. Um, I think it gives uh, maybe not your, your regulars a chance to get on. and oh, Maybe it's the other way around. When it's the weekend, you've got a lot of people up that are staying up later. Um, they're having a little drink. Ah, oh, there's Scotty. Let's get wee Scotty a phone. But I think there's a lot of people, Scotty, that just like to listen to you in the background. Sometimes you, you get know? this. I remember saying to somebody about phone calls, and he said, yeah. don't worry, don't think because people don't phone, they're not listening. He said, yeah. you know, people I, just like the chat. Yeah. There's a lot of shy people. And I mean, like, normally when I call you 
first. I've now put you on the big screen on the TV and I just enjoy listening to everybody talking and then I'll read the comments and it's just nice to relax and unwind. So, yeah, just um, chill. And I've said this to people about the YouTube channel. Um, if you don't want to watch my YouTubes, put them on and walk away and do your housework and listen through your speakers. Have them on the background. Absolutely. Yeah, because you can do all that now. You know yourself, Kareem, and the youngsters have all got them. These portable speakers, you can do it on oh, your yeah. phone. You can have it booming out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, even in their earbuds. Or there's yep. so many ways now. With Pop your earbuds in and just walk away button. and get on with your hoovering. Yes, but I think you've got the times right, Scotty. Like during the week, I think it was, if it was later, I think people will be going to their beds. Folk are going to their beds nowadays, Kareem. Folk are working too hard. Folk are up early in the morning. You'll probably be up at five, six in the morning. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, I'm yep. usually up. I'm usually up by six. And sometimes we do a broadcast on TikTok in the mornings. Wow, right, okay. You know, right. so we've had what we call the early bird. Yes. And and sometimes it's mobbed because you've got America going to bed late. Yeah, so they come on. So at six in the morning, you get America going, Scotty, what are you doing? It's three in the morning. <laughs> well, I've just gone to my oh, bed. That's fantastic. But no, I think you've got the times right as well. And I think you've got a lot of people contributing. And yeah, it's, it's going well. It will grow and it will continue to grow. It will but grow, Kareem. And I'll tell you for why. I think we've got to just keep the faith. But I'll tell you for why. Because for some strange reason, we're attracting the intelligentsia. Uh -huh. So we're getting a good, proper chat rather than just some halfway, you know, phoning up and shouting yeah. down the phone. Uh, yeah. You know, we get maybe a couple of drunks a night. Yes. You know, but so yeah, what? You're always going to get that Scottish. Yeah. Um, you're always going to get the ideas that come on and, oh, oh listen to my voice and they're, they're shouting, cursing, whatever. Well, you see, the um, problem with these people is they don't have the confidence to, yeah. to handle, they're not mature enough in their mind to handle yeah. the, the, the live stream. Yeah. You see? Now, it's yeah. I've noticed that you're, uh, you always were, but you're very much at home on on, on the phone in. Oh, thank you. I remember my first time phoning you, Scotty, and I think I said to you, I said, I'm actually, I'm actually a wee bit nervous. And yes. You, you said, don't be, and from then on, I'm no, don't okay. be, because you're only talking to me, so it doesn't matter. You know, and the rest of the world, of course. I, listen, I, I know a lot of people are listening, and they, you know, I, I do think we give a lot of people a lot of good advice, a lot of hope, something to look forward yeah. to. There's people, as you've spoke before, people suffer depression. I just think the show covers so many topics, so many people can bring anything up, and it will relate to something to somebody out there, something will all yes. relate to something. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's really nice, it's heartwarming. It's just what we need. It's tremendous, Kareem. And uh, I'm just so chuffed. I couldn't believe, I mean, obviously you're taking a chance just throwing something like this up and the phone started going right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it will continue to grow, Scotty. Uh, with holidays coming up as well, people yep. getting off. And there's so much, this, but I think, I'd say well done to you, Scotty, as well, because a man, um, and I'm not saying you're, you're elderly, but a man, a lot of people your age would be put off with technology. And I I don't know how you do it because you know more than me setting all these things up. Kareem, and, and I, I love the technology. I just wish, uh, you know, I had another 40 years in me with it. I just love the technology. I mean, you know, I I ask my public to forgive me for the fact that I'm knocking on a wee bit now. But, you know, I just love the technology and I think we might as well take advantage of it. Scotty, you don't look elderly at all. I think you look very young for your age um, and there'll be plenty more years to come. Plenty more years. I, I, just think what the technology will be within the next five to ten years. Oh, tremendous. We'll soon be able to just shout out the window. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be holograms coming up into your living room or, you know, <laughs> all these things. I mean, you can tell the, the phones just now, uh, not to name the, 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 the make, but the, the flip phones that yeah. you, know, you can have as a phone or open it up like a wee mini iPad. Yes. 
Yes. I mean, all that's going to just absolutely blossom. And as I said to you, you know, you've maybe heard me say this before, but as I say to some of the mainstream television and radio companies when they go, well, we tend to concentrate on our core business, I say, well, start getting into all the technology, otherwise someday you'll wake up and your core business won't be there. You know, the technology will just have trounced it, just swallowed it up. I mean, already the youngsters, why would they want to listen to a radio presenter when they can get their own music off there and mix it off their, their, their sites, you know? Um, absolutely. See, yeah. we're offering something different, Kareem. No radio stations offering what Scotty McClue's phone -in's offering the people right now. No television station is doing this either. And I have mentioned a couple of times, I think one hour on a Friday night on a mainstream television station, live, take the calls, do what we're doing right now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, th I, I think that would be very interesting. You yeah. Know? And I think you'd have a lot of interesting characters as well. And it'd be a, a newer generation, new people coming yes. in. Yes. Um, but I, I have my fingers crossed that would be very, that would be very good. But remember, yeah. Kareem, you were there right at the start. <laughs> and I'll be there today, Scotty, absolutely. Bless you. And dinky do sir. Speak to you tomorrow. Have a good I day. I hope so. Bye -bye. Thanks, Kareem. ta -ra -la. There we are. What a fine fellow. That's our Kareem. Amazing. Used to call on Nation Radio. Wonderful stuff. There we go. Now, what do we got? Age is just a number, Scotty. Absolutely, Angela. Uh, thank you very much. I love you. The Trump will be back in 2024 and will shock the world. Biggest political comeback ever. I actually believe there's a lot of truth in that. I think the Donald will be back with us soon. Definitely. Who have we got here? Lots and lots of beautiful people. Trump, how are you, my friend? Scotty Cligster, a lovely to have you with us. What happened to the checkered bonnet? Do you mean this one, Angela? The checkered bonnet is here. It is with us. It is well. Scotty McClure, dinky do, And a spare badge at the back in case the other one breaks down. <laughs> Scotty McClure says dinky do to you. How fantastic is that? And we'll get the merch out there once we grow. Right, let's see what you lot are saying on the chat. Um, Glenn was first on the phones tonight. There we are. Dinky do the news, Scotty. Eddie Doyle down in Newmarket. How lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, I say. Dinky do. Watching while restringing my guitar for a gig on Saturday, says Neil. Quite a boring job, but it helps when watching your good self. It's never boring, Neil. It's just that you know what needs to be done. It's a great skill. Suzanne, yes, absolutely. Uh, yes, the pop-up's coming. There's nothing on TV or radio. I'd be lost without you now, Scotty. Suzanne, you're such an angel. You should come on for a wee chat. Is that right, Jerry? Nice. Lovely person, Emma Thompson. Yes, down to earth. Um, when in the city of Glasgow. She speaks Glaswegian. Oops, Kareem, elderly. Oh, Scotty. No, no, I know elderly me. <laughs> I think it's the beard. I'm only 28. I just had a very tough paper round. She talks highly of her mum and sister, and the question is, um, so there we are. Fantastic. Well, we're not going to all that, Jerry. People's private business. Uh, so that's that. Good night, Suzanne, says the wonderful Susan Shaw. Yes, we've got another five minutes, everybody. What have we got here? Followers on TikTok, guys. Uh, Clickster says, Scotty, love our little chats. How are you, my man? I'm sorry I wasn't here. I went to see my nan. Clickster, you're a poet. We love you going to see your nan. That's probably even more important than watching Scotty McClue. And very few things are. But if it's to do with your nan, your ma, your da, Trump 2024. There we are. Caught you later tonight. Good show. Kulelio. I thank you. Do you support the thistle, Scotty? When you say the thistle, do you mean the thistle of Scotland? Do you mean this thistle here behind me, if I move? That thistle? Or do you mean the Partick thistle? Because I remember going to see Partick thistle play one day, and uh, 
I said to a policeman, I said, how do I get to Fur Hill from here? He said, just follow the crowd. I ended up in the superstore at Summerston. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Oh, Mr. Nobody. Somebody a wee bit uncertain trying out the line. Probably a radio station trying to see if the lines are jammed. There we are. Dinky do. Thank you, Jerry. There we are. Fantastic. Do you watch Grand Design? No, I haven't actually. Dinky do says scenic music. So there we are. Did Boris lose his mother today? Did Kuleli? Oh, yes. Bless him. And because uh, he's very close to his mother. And we only get one mother. It's so important. There we are. Whose nickname is the Jags? Cornelio, that would be the Partick Thistle. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. People want to know. There we are. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. That's what it's all about. Night, night, Susan. Sleep well. So Suzanne, good night, Susan. Indeed. Now. That's that stuff, right? I'll not say that one. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, who's the handsome chap behind you, Brad? Uh, the handsome chap behind me. You'll have to guess. That's Lord Reith the Labrador. And he is handsome. There we are. Brad, you mustn't assume everybody has your lifestyle. That's what I tell you. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, it's me, myself. Ah, I've Professor Numpteed, where have you been tonight? I've been sitting listening to the show. What do you think? Are you enjoying it? Absolutely. The phone lines have been buzzing all night. You know, I didn't want to interrupt the, the, the stream. Phones are busy tonight, dinky-doo. Aye. Now, did you read my message earlier about the transmitter in North Yorkshire? I believe it was hit by lightning. Is that right? Weeks ago. Oh, is that right? I and didn't went, know about that. Everybody in North Yorkshire lost their, their television and their FM radios. Oh, my goodness uh, me. See, where I am, Scotty, I got all the different regional news. I got the Tainties, I got the Border. Clever man. Canada, yes, you will. TV. You'll get the lot down there because you're right on the cusp. And in fact, Border Television, I think, were big in eye mouth. Well, absolutely. Because it's a part of the barbers, but you know Carlisle shut down, and they now bring you the the, the television news for the, the the what do you call it? Yeah, but I think they've got a base. They've got a base in Carlisle, the hub. Aye, but it's the Tainties newscasters that does the the border news. Is it? Uh, right. The carpet, Scotty. Ah, right. Excellent stuff. Well, we used to border was a big station. It was a great station that. It all changed a few years ago, Scotty. Yeah, it's gone now. The building's gone at, uh, at Harrowby Hill. But they've kept the name, Scotty. You still get Border News. ITV you know? Border News, very good. It's a lovely oh, part of the world down there. Lovely oh, part. The whole, yeah. the, this whole country, yeah. Numpty Heat, as you know, is so beautiful. Oh, for goodness sake. That's a bit of a temporary in. Oh, my goodness. Listen, Numpty, I'm going to have to go. We're running out of time. Absolutely, Scotty. A dinky do, la la. There we are. That's our Numpty. Now, I'm going to have to say cheerio to our TikTokers. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. And dinky do, Pelshire is stunning. Absolutely wonderful. There's the TikTokers. Fantastic. You're live on Scotty McClure. Oh, they've gone. Fantastic. They didn't manage to hang on. A very late. Nice seeing you, Dee. Lovely seeing you always. There we go. Fantastic. Now, uh, lots of stuff like that. Right. Jerry, can we not be going into all that? Um, I ask you. What an incredible night tonight. Fantastic. And it's been wonderful to be with you on the TikTok walk. Hang on, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Right, we'll see who this is. Last call. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Love you. Sorry? Love you. Oh, thank you very much. Very kind of you. There we are. Dinky do. Right, we have to dash, guys. That's us. We are out of time. What a fantastic program. Now, 
Uh, here's how it's going to be working. We shall pop up live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 9 until 10. Then at the weekends, Friday, Saturday, 10 o'clock sharp. And we are live, of course, on Twitch and on YouTube and on Facebook. Good afternoon, Dash. We're out of time. Good night. God bless. Thank you, do. And ta-ra-las. <laughs>